time for another restaurant story. Hi, we're a party of four. Okay, we're looking at about a 30 minute wait for a party of four. Okay, we'll wait. Oh, really? Like, quietly? Yeah, you can put the name under Karen. You don't want to speak to my manager or anything? Uh, nope, I'm good. Great, cool. Yeah, we will call you when your table's ready. Oh, hi, excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you, um, but I forgot to ask if this dish was vegan when I ordered it. Do you know if it is? Oh yeah, um, sorry, that dish you have is definitely not vegan. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sorry about that. Are you okay? Uh, no, yeah, sorry, no, I just thought you were gonna throw the plate in my face on account of me not knowing you were vegan. God, no, why would I do that? Oh, you're not a mind reader. I'll just order something else, like a normal person. Great! Thank you! It's like my birthday or something. <laughs> wow, all the guests are being so cool and nice to me today. Wow, it's already been 10 minutes. Look at that, time is flying. Wow, look at all these good vegan options. I feel no murderous rage. Yeah, almost too nice. Wait, why is everybody being so nice? Peace, serenity. A picture-perfect slice of American life. What? This bustling restaurant might appear to be the ideal workplace, but that's all it is. An ideal. I'm sorry, is anyone else hearing, like, narration? Could a PTA mom with no reservation really wait 30 minutes for a table? Could a rich businessman really tip more than 5%? Could the after-brunch church crowd really go one Sunday without making their server cry? Maybe not in our world, but they could in... The Twilight Zone. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that makes a lot more sense. 